What's good everyone, you're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're gonna to look at a special type of binomial expansion. So where we've got the two brackets involving thirds, and it's called the difference of two squares. So the main point that we need to know before we jump into this is that when we multiply a third by itself, all that's left is the integer that was under the square roots. So this helps us out a lot with these types of special binomial expansions. So if you have a look at this one here, they're the exact same numbers in both brackets. The only thing that's different is the sign in the middle. So we've got a plus in the first one and a minus in the second. That can go either way. But these difference of two squares always occur when we've got the same terms and the opposite sign in between them. We're gonna find a really quick shortcut to do these almost instantly, but we're just gonna foil it out first to see if we can see what the proof is. So for this first example here, I've got four times four, which is equal to 16. Four multiplied by negative root five is just minus four root five. Then my inside terms here is plus four root five, and finally, plus root five times minus root five is just minus five. You'll see here that the middle two terms, minus four root five and plus four root five, just cancel each other out. That's like having minus two plus two. So even though there is a third there, don't worry about it. All we've got to do here is collect those like terms at the start and end. So 16 minus five is equal to 11. And that's my final answer. So when we have these difference of two squares, the middle two terms always cancel out, literally no matter what. So all we're left with is the first term squared minus the second term squared. That negative is really important because we're always gonna have a minus and a plus because that's what we've defined this as. So we're always left with a negative number at the end. The formula in a general sense is this, a plus b, multiplied by a minus b, always results in a squared minus b squared. So we're gonna have a look at a couple more examples, just skipping straight to that formula step. So this one I can see exactly the same terms with a different sign in the middle. So my answer is gonna be seven squared, which is 49, minus root six squared, which is just equal to six. So my final answer is equal to 43. So that's a lot less work than having to foil this out and cancel any terms. Just looking out for this is gonna save you so much time in any exam. For this one here, again, even though they're both thirds, the overall process doesn't change. The first term is squared, root three, which is just three, minus the second term there, which is five. So the answer for this one is just minus two. You can just check this in your calculator as well. If you have this, type it into your calculator, the answer it'll give you at the end is just minus two. So you know you're on the right track. Finally, we can even have terms where we've got a number or an integer out the front of the third and it doesn't change a thing. We just have to remember to square the whole thing. So for this one, I've got four root two and that's all gonna be squared. So the four squared is equal to 16, and that is multiplied by the square of root two, which is just two. Then that second term is just dealt with normally, which is minus five. 16 times two is 32, then minus five. And so my final answer is 27. Again, to check this, you can type it into your calculator and get the correct answer. This is gonna be really important when we rationalize the denominator, which is gonna be the next topic we cover. But being able to identify these difference of two squares quickly is an incredibly important skill for this topic. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you later. Just a quick reminder, there are some free worksheets linked in the description below, as well as the notes from this video. If you've got a second, please like, comment, and subscribe to Quick Math for more content every day. Thanks so much. Have a good one.